Special thanks to Google Fi for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome to another day in my life vlog. It is Monday, Monday morning. I'm trying to finish getting myself somewhat together. Zaya is in the kitchen right now, like packing her lunch for school and everything. It is summertime now, and I know most kids are out of school, summer break, everything like that. Zaya doesn't have like a normal summer break just because the school that she goes to does offer like a summer, like a summer school type daycare type program. So she is able to kind of continue her normal school schedule throughout the summer. So we kind of just stick to the same schedule. We've been doing this ever since she was like 18 months old when she started going to this school. I've always had her go during the summer too because I don't have a summer break from work. It just kind of works out that she don't have a summer break from school. This will be her last time though because she's starting first grade, she's switching schools, and when she switches schools, she will have a normal summer break from here on out. But she loves it. She absolutely loves her school and all her friends there and you know, now, she's an only child anyway, so for her, it's a lot more fun for her to go to school even throughout the summer than to just like be here and not have any friends or anyone to play with, especially while I'm working. So she's loved it so far, and it just works out for me with my work schedule. We're still doing the school thing. That's what we're getting ready for right now. Like I said, it's Monday. So for me, Mondays are always pretty busy. We call it Monday meeting day because I have several meetings that I start my day off with, with the RETV team. And then from there, there's just always like a bunch of other stuff to do. So I just wanted to take y'all along for the day so you can see what a typical work and school day looks like for us, even during the summer. trying to lay this wig. I was also gonna say, because it's like summertime now, I'm definitely not too pressed about like waking up early and getting Zaya to school super early. It kind of doesn't really matter what time I get her to school during the summer, because it's not the same as like, you know, normal school. So it is definitely like 9.15 right now. <laughs> and my Monday meetings kind of technically start at 9.30, but then they really start at 10. I mean, I should at least be trying to get back by 10, which I will, but we're just definitely kind of getting a slow start this morning. Okay, just pulled up to school. I just realized I forgot to bring a check. I was about to explain to y'all that Zaya does go to private school. We do pay tuition, so we do pay for this summer we. Who's we? I. I pay tuition and I pay throughout the summer for her to be able to continue to go. And tuition is due. And I forgot to bring a check, so I'll have to bring it when I pick her up. I need to remember to do that. Make a little reminder on my phone, otherwise I will forget again. This will be your last semester or whatever whatever after this summer where are you gonna go first grade, first grade. anyway it's 9 30 now i need to like i said get back home because the team is all meeting at my house for our meetings they'll be there by 10 so you need to go i need to go we need to get to move on and you need to turn off the vlog so you can have your meeting <laughs> okay bye see you later so like I was saying, I normally start my Mondays, like my Monday meetings at 9.30 because the first meeting is supposed to be basically just between me and my mom. And that's more to talk about like, not my normal business related stuff. Like it's kind of personal, but it's kind of business. Lately we've been using that time to talk about stuff going on with my investment property. She's involved with like everything I do, but she's been really involved with that whole journey. So we normally just like to take 30 minutes, start of the week on Monday. Okay, what's going on with the investment property? What's going on with projects around my house that she's also helping me with? What's going on with There's stuff that she's just like kind of helps me organize, but that doesn't really involve the whole rest of my team. So we'll just do 30 minutes, usually 9 30 to 10. And then 10 o'clock is the first meeting with my actual, I call it the internal team. We got to a point where we actually have like the proper names and titles for everything, like a real company, cause you know, it is a real company. So we have the internal 
level and then after that we have the management level and basically what that means the internal level is me my mom Maya my sister Taylor and Katarina my assistant now so that's kind of like I don't even know the internal the internal level of the team and then the management level of the team is when you include my talent agent Brianna and anybody else on her side of things that she would include. I don't know if that makes sense, but we do two separate meetings. I kind of skipped over my personal meeting with my mom this morning because I was running late. It's already 9.45 right now. We'll probably just end up doing that later on today. We are gonna start off with the internal level meeting at my house here in a minute. Okay, it's about 10 o'clock. We have a special guest for the meetings today, Levi, because Levi's out of school. Grammy brought refreshments for the meetings. Oh, fancy, a berry medley a pastry platter. So one of the things that we needed to discuss in today's Monday meeting is the fact that I recently got a new phone and a new cell phone plan with Google Fi. So this will be the phone that my assistant can use to make and receive calls related to her work for me. Up until this point, she was just using her personal cell phone and her personal number to make calls for various things, but it was kind of getting confusing because you know she's calling from her number, people want to know a callback number, and I just felt like we needed a separate phone for her to use for me, that way she's not using Using her personal line so I got this plan with Google Fi however this is the perfect plan for anyone not just for business Google Fi has a lot of different plans to choose from but the plan that I chose was simply unlimited which is Google Fi's most affordable unlimited plan it starts at just $20 per month per line for four plus lines and the Google Fi simply unlimited plan as the name implies includes unlimited data calls and texts within the US Canada and Mexico plus you get five gigabytes of hotspot text which is included in the plan and this can really come in handy when you're on the go that's actually one of the main things that I love about this Google Fi plan is the high-speed hotspot tethering this means that when we're away from my house away from my office we can still connect a laptop or an iPad to the internet this is super helpful when you're on the road or anytime you can't connect one of your devices to Wi-Fi and like I said this is not just for business use this is for anyone for personal use there always comes a time when you can't connect to Wi-Fi for whatever reason but you still need internet Internet. So this will really come in handy. Another thing I love about Google Fi is that you're not locked in at all. There are no contracts, no hidden fees, and no activation fees either. Sign up was super quick and easy. I just went to the Google Fi website, chose the plan that I wanted, chose the phone that I wanted, and boom, I was in. You can also add this plan to an existing phone if that fits your needs better. And I don't know about you, but lately I have been getting so many spam calls. They come in all day long. They're constantly interrupting my day. It's super annoying. So so another good thing about Google Fi is that on the Fi app, you can enable spam blocking. So any calls that are suspected to be a scam or robo calls, things like that will automatically be blocked. So I'm really glad that I got this new phone and this Google Fi phone plan. I think it's gonna really help to keep things organized within the business. But like I said, this is just a really good phone plan for individuals, for personal use, for families. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can learn more about Google Fi at fi.google.com. Okay, so it's about 11 a.m. now. We just wrapped up meeting number one. Well, technically it's meeting number two. We didn't do meeting number one. Wrapped up meeting number one. We're about to dive into meeting number two, which includes Brianna. And this is gonna be through Zoom. Brianna is obviously not here locally, so we just all do it through Zoom. Okay, it is now 1.18. We finished our meeting with Brianna. We had to circle back and kind of finish our other meeting that we were having. This is pretty typical. On Mondays, we meet from like 10 a.m. to a lot of times one o'clock, sometimes two o'clock, three o'clock. It can go on for a long time. And Levi was being so good. He's been here this whole time. Being so quiet and nice. Entertaining himself over here. Taylor and Maya actually still, they're not done. We're not done. They have their own meeting they need to have about some other stuff. I didn't yeah, order food. I've had coffee, I've had pastries, I've had fruit, I've had tea. I'll probably grab some leftovers or something. One of the business perks 
is that I do provide not only the breakfast things, but lunch as well, like delivery stuff. Maya did order something. You're waiting for your food. You got a juice box? I got a kid's meal. Cause it's a half meal. Levi, you want some juice? Honestly, I need to start doing that cause I never finished the normal size. I mean, this is enough for an adult to eat. Come on. Just a chicken pita with rice and hummus. Okay, so Maya's leaving. She's dismissed for the day. Bye y'all. So if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I am trying to make this vision come to life with the back wall of my backyard. I want the whole wall to be covered in star jasmine vines. So when I first told y'all about it, I had seven of these plants that I was able to find. They've been like sold out and out of stock everywhere. Katarina the other day was able to source five more of them. So we do have a total of 12. They keep getting blown over by the wind. So every day I have to come out here and like pick them up and fix it because they keep getting knocked over. A few weeks ago when we got the first seven of them. We found them for $30 a piece, which was a good price. They're in good shape, the right size that I needed. The ones that Katarina found last week, they're now going for $43.99. They're just like super in demand. They're raising the price on them. I brought the ones that I had over here to kind of get an idea of the placement and the spacing. This is kind of the spacing that I'm planning on doing. I calculate that I need 20 more of these jasmine plants going all the way down that way. So that is one of the tasks that I gave Katarina today is to keep checking, keep looking. Where can we even find any of them in the first place? I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't care how much they cost, just get it. I really wanna bring this vision to life. So Katarina is gonna be working on that, trying to look online to see if she can order them online, searching local stores, local nurseries, and just trying to get her hands on some. <gasps> my floaty, no, the agave plant popped my floaty. Look at the hole right there. Let me add that to Katarina. Katarina's list, <laughs> go get me another floaty. <laughs> Chef Tony, I think, seems to believe that I don't need 20 more plants and that I can get away with using fewer plants and spacing them out more. I just don't want to sparse in result. You never plant plants right up against each other. This is two feet across for roots, for everything. I understand you wanting to fill in. These are gonna fill in. Once you let these things loose off this thing that they're onto, they're gonna connect to whatever you want it to connect to, whether it's a fence or a trellis or what. You're saying this is wrong or right? I'm pulling them to the recommended width. I said three feet before and now I'm reducing it to two feet. You have 12. I need 20 more. That's what I've been saying. I've been saying two feet. I've been saying 20 more plants. I've been saying all these numbers. Okay, I just want to make sure your math was mapping. Well, you're the one who can't do math. <laughs> She's trying to tell me what I've been telling her. The math is mathing. I don't know what the confusion is. Long story short, I'm aiming to get 20 more of these plants. The end. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Katarina is probably gonna have to call around a few places to source those plants. And it's good now that we have the new phone with a Google Fi plan because she is now able to actually not only use that phone to make the calls instead of having to use her own personal phone, but it was getting kind of confusing when she was like calling places and like she's calling from her phone, but she wants to get them my information. So it's good to just have the business phone, call from that phone, give the people that phone number, so on and so forth. So she just went into the mini office. That's the office that she works out of. So she's currently doing that plus other tasks that I have her working on today. Like I said, me and my mom did not do our normal meeting this morning. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now to discuss what I was saying about like house related stuff. things we need to get on right away or you need to make the mirror the selections for the mirrors in the bathrooms and I think a couple of like fixtures. So long story short, there's a bunch of stuff that we need to handle with the rental property today. We're missing lighting for the master bathroom and we're also missing mirrors for both the bathrooms. Very sweaty now. I did get good information about the trees that I want for my backyard. It is going to just fully get what I want. It is going to be expensive. So I'm looking into it. I got a quote, I got all the information. I'm gonna like sleep on it, think about it, and then see if I wanna move forward with those trees for my backyard. I did purchase two of the Birds of Paradise plants that I wanted for my patio. I bought them 
We couldn't put them in my mom's car, so I'm gonna send Katarina to pick them up for me, bring them to the house. We did not find any lights or mirrors or any other things for the rental house. And we ran out of time now because it's five o'clock. I have to pick up Zaya from school by 5.30 max. So we're kind of rushing back over to pick her up now. Didn't even have time to go to Target or Home Goods or any other place. Some progress was made, some progress was not made. Long story short, and the day is already done and I'm hot and I'm tired and Jeff Tony about to fall out. So we're just gonna go pick up Zaya and recoup. Did y'all get day at school? Mm -hmm. What did y'all do? Did y'all do actual school stuff or just playing because it's summertime? We didn't really do class that much. You didn't do like reading and math or anything. You just did crafts and playing. Uh -oh. Here is the area for the trees. They're gonna be planted within this strip of grass between the fence and the patio. Now, I didn't even explain to y'all because the last thing I think I said in one of my last videos was that I was gonna do a privacy wall. Like literally get a wall built that is attached to the edge of this patio and it would be a big six foot black metal wall. I have since kind of changed my mind on that just because I feel like that's gonna be just this big black wall in the way and then it just doesn't even account for the fact that I still have five feet of yard. I didn't even say that to begin with, but that's why I'm even like looking at these trees now. I already wanted to do them on the other side of the yard to create privacy from those neighbors. I knew I was gonna do trees for that side, but I was like, why don't I just do trees for both sides? I think it'll just be like a better use of my yard and look nicer. Okay, I'm literally still sweating. It's just so hot today. I just feel a little discombobulated, but I need to get Zaya dinner, do the nighttime routine with her, but I am just taking some time to assign tasks to my assistant for Wednesday. She's coming in. She's doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday as far as like in-person days right now. So I like to make sure that I give her her task ahead of time. That way when she comes in, she knows what I need her to do. She knows what I need help with. She can just check online on our thing and it's all listed out there so I've been trying to take some time kind of at the end of each day after I've done my thing and now I see you know what's left to be done what needs to be done next I kind of translate that into tasks for her so that's what I'm doing right now I have some footage that I need to send over to my video editors make sure that they have it that's always something that I have to do like the night before because they're on opposite time zones they're in the UK so if I want them to get started working on something first thing in the morning, I have to send it to them the night before, if that makes sense. So I need to do that. I really need to finish shopping for the stuff for the rental house that we did not find in person today. I need to just look online and find it because we're not having luck in stores and we really need that stuff because it needs, like the house is about to be done. We need the lights, we need the mirrors, we need these finishing touches so it could just be wrapped up so I can get it rented, so I can get some people in there renting it. I've already kind of delayed getting these last few little things so I really actually need to do that like tonight. So that'll be the last thing that I do and that'll be the end of my day. Thanks again to Google Fi for sponsoring this video.